Today's lesson is about the classification of amphibian. But before we go further, let's discuss what are vertebrates and how they're classified. Vertebrates are animals with backbones, like these. Vertebrates are divided into five common classes. These classes are fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Now you know vertebrates, let's move on. Here are some fun facts about amphibians that we can keep in mind which help us describe and classify animals that belong to the amphibian class. Number one, amphibians have thin and humid skin. All can breathe and absorb water through their very thin skin. Amphibians also have special skin glands that produce useful proteins. Number two, their body parts transform throughout their life cycle. They start their life in water before sprouting legs and walking on land. Number three, they change their breathing method. It could be through their lungs, gills, or skin, depending on the stage of their lives. Number four, they live on the ground and water because they need a moist place. Only amphibians can live part of their life in water and part of it on land. Number five, they are cold-blooded animals. Number six, during reproduction, they release eggs that are fertilized outside of their bodies. Amphibians are a class of cold-blooded vertebrates made up of frogs, salamanders, cecilians, and toads. Frogs are a diverse group of short-bodied, tailless amphibians. Adult frogs eat insects that they catch with their long, sticky tongues, and other invertebrates such as caterpillar and worms. Salamanders are a group of amphibians typically characterized by their lizard-like appearance, with slender bodies, blunt snouts, short limbs, and the presence of a tail in both larvae and adults. Salamanders feed on insects, worms, spiders, and slugs. Cecilians are long-bodied, limbless amphibians that look like earthworms. They mostly live hidden in soil or in stream beds, and this renders them among the least familiar amphibians. Their teeth can grab worms, termites, crickets, and beetle larvae. All food is swallowed whole. Toad is a common name for certain frogs. They are characterized by dry, leathery skin, short legs, and large bumps. Toads eat insects, spiders, slugs, and worms. 
Let's review! Amphibians have thin and humid skin. They have transformations throughout their lives. They change their breathing method. They need a moist place to live. They are cold-blooded animals. They externally fertilize their eggs. Amphibians are a class of cold-blooded vertebrates made up of frogs, salamanders, cecilians, and toads. Now that you know some examples of amphibian, it's your turn to identify them. Let's do this!
Good job! I hope that you learned something today. See you on our next episode!